In the previous video clip, we saw how to find the range of a data set. The range does give us an indication of the spread of a data set, but there is a better measure, and that's what I want to tell you about right now. Okay, let uh, x be a value in the data set. Then the deviation uh, from the mean of that value is just the difference of that value uh, with the mean. Okay, so x minus x bar, where x bar is the mean. For example, we have a data set 16, 14, 12, 21, and 22. We want to find the deviations. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is calculate the mean. And you know how to do that. We add up the data values. In this case, there are five of them, so we divide the total by five, we get 17. And then for each data value, we need to subtract 17 from that value to get the deviation associated with that. And the deviations that we find after subtracting 17 from each value are negative 1, negative 3, negative 5, 4, and 5. And if you look carefully at this uh, set of deviations, you'll see that the total of all the deviations is 0. This is not an accident. Um, if you compute the deviations for any data set, the answer that you get when you add them up will always be zero. Now we would like to be able to characterize the spread of a distribution or a data set by taking the average of the deviations, but since this would give us zero, that would not be very helpful. So to avoid this uh, thing from happening, we will uh, square each deviation and then find the average. Okay, so this makes the calculation a little more involved, but it does give us a, uh, a deviation that, an average deviation that we can work with. Okay, so following along with this idea and working with the previous example, we square the deviations and come up with 1, 9, 25, 16, and 25. And then, next thing we're going to do is take an average. But before we do that, I'm going to give you the definition of the standard deviation. Okay, so if we have a data set of n values, and the mean of this data set is x bar, then to find the standard deviation, we need to find the average of the squares of the deviations. So remember to do that, we have to add up all of the squares of the deviations and then divide by n minus 1. Now some of you are going to say, well, why are you dividing by n minus 1 instead of n? And I cannot uh, really explain that very well uh, because the reason for this is beyond the scope of this course. Okay, so let's continue on with this example. The squares of the deviations that we had in that previous example were 1, 9, 25, 16, and 25. So we need to add these up. 1 plus 9 plus 25 plus 16 plus 25. 
and the total there is 76. Okay, then we need to divide this by n minus 1. In this case, we have five data values, so we have to divide this by 4. So 76 divided by 5 minus 1, or 76 divided by 4, which is 19. Okay, finally, to compute the standard deviation, we need to take the square root of that answer. So standard deviation is square root of 19. And we can find on our calculator, it's easy to find that using this key right here. And the answer is about 4.4, 4.35, 4.4. About 4.4. And that's it for the standard deviation. Now, it is possible to compute these standard deviations by hand, but actually, uh, for a larger data set, there's a lot of calculation involved. And I would recommend that you do it instead using your graphing calculator. So let's see how to do that. Okay, remember any problem dealing with statistics, we want to go to stat and press enter at the edit screen clear enter to clear out previous data and then I'll enter my data set here okay so going back to the previous example we have 16 14 12 21 and 22. Okay, and then we go to stat, calc, and one variable stats. Just press enter. Okay, and then we look on this line right here. And we see S, standing for standard deviation, that's the 4.35 that we calculated by hand.